it is about uh, luxury sunscreen being 100% coral safe because we care of, uh, about the environment, we care about protecting the marine life and corals uh, is the hosting, uh, the hosting system for all the marine life. So we want to really decrease the toxic disbursement of humans in the ocean. Uh, that is why our formulation will be uh, not harming corals. But also we want to uh, raise and educate uh, the sustainability issue that we are facing today in the luxury consumption. So basically we had this entrepreneurship class in our university and the criteria was uh, develop something which is luxury and develop something which is sustainable. And in fact we just read over an article where we saw that uh, sunscreen, normal sunscreen that everyone buys in the supermarket are banned in certain areas. Just now the regulation just has been passed and therefore we were thinking about it and thought what can we do about it and through research over the whole month because cosmetic industry is a really difficult topic. For me the best memory is, uh, let's say, when I remember the first slide, what we did uh, for the entrepreneurial project, it was such a mess. I mean, we did not know what what to say, where to start, where to. And when I look today at the screen with all of our the effort put every night, every day, uh, last minute uh, changes and everything, I'm so proud. I'm so proud, and this will be my lasting memories. Being proud of our team and uh, really being proud because we. We are hard workers and we, we are entrepreneurs, we are future leaders. That's why I really believe in us. So, And for me it was also this moment now on stage because it reflects all the month that we have been working on it. Additionally to our normal classes that we have, our normal exams, we invested always extra time in order to develop this project. And we are young, we are not experts. For us it was a new experience and therefore we are really proud, every one of us. And I think... The synergy is really good in our team. <laughs> uh, for me personally, I think that the evolving of our team, like of how we work, or of the things that we get to know, of our knowledge, it all came down to this point right now. And I'm really proud of, of my girls, of my team. Um, so yeah, developing this project, developing ourselves, this is what was all about. So the best advice I can give is uh, do not give up if you encounter uh, challenges throughout the whole process of, uh, of the development of the project. We have encountered so many people saying no, we don't believe in your idea and we had to fight to find the best solution to make it even more clear, even more feasible, even more, it was always for the best. So uh, this is why if you are a hard worker, you can make it, you can make any product launch. Uh, you'd need to believe in it in the end. Yes. I think also reading is a really big point. Sometimes it's only the simple ideas that succeed. And we have been just encountered this by reading an article just randomly in class. I mean, we were not, nobody knew about it. We spoke with classmates, with friends, family, nobody knew about it. And this is our unique selling point. And therefore, I think we, reading is really important. Uh, I think the most important thing to me personally is don't be afraid of failure. If you fail, it's actually good because you learn from it. And also criticizing, when you are, be, when you are being criticized, it's also help you to evolve help you to develop more, to know such touch points that you never like even thought about before. So this is also important.